back to Icy Arts and Crafts. Today we'll be making an origami boomerang that really comes back. So let's get started. Okay, so all you need is one piece of paper because we, you can make two boomerangs out of just one because we're gonna split this in half and make it two. So make sure you crease it with your fingernail. The easiest way to do it is to whip it so you get it perfectly aligned. Just gotta work it. Okay, this is hard. Because we're on a sticky surface here. And this is how you do it, folks. You're doing it perfectly. Okay, maybe not perfectly, but it's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. You don't need it exactly straight. So once you have this, we're gonna fold it in half like this, horizontally. This is really, this does get really tricky, but we will do it as best as we can to show you the steps and how to do it. So now we're gonna open it back up, fold it in to the line, and then fold this one in. And then just leave a millimeter of space. Just a millimeter so when we fold it in again, it doesn't like interfere with anything. Just a millimeter. You see that little space right there? Just a little bit. So then next, we're gonna fold it in half. Oops, hang on, let's see the movie. We're gonna fold it in half like this, vertically, like this way. And then crease that. Try to get as, as much precise folds as you can. And then we're gonna go to the closed side and airplane fold the corners in, which means go like this to make it look like a house. Now we're going to um, flip it over and do the same on the other side. Like just Pull these backwards, not on the other side, the open side. Okay, now we're gonna have like these creases here, right? Triangle, right up. You have that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna open this. This one's hard. And you're gonna see an X, but we're, you see the, this little line? We're gonna tuck this inwards and like bend this like this and bend this one too. And then you see, so it was like this, right? We're gonna tuck this and push it. And then this is gonna fold like that. And then we're gonna do the same on the left side. I'll help you in a second, Ina. Just getting this one. Okay, this is kind of tricky, but there. Okay, so now, we're gonna do Isla's. And then fold this one. It has to be sharp creases. Isla didn't do a great job of doing that. So that's why it's tough to push Isla's. And remember to not get frustrated, frustrated because this is all for fun. So once you have your tall houses, we're going to open it back up. And this part depends. If you're a right-hander, you open up the right side. If you're a left-hander, you open up the left side. So we're right-handers, so we're gonna open up the right side. And then, you see this little diamond, right? But in the diamond, there's a line, right? The line. We're gonna fold on that line like that, just to make it better. And then we're gonna flip over, and you see the diamond, right? We're gonna make those creases better too, because the next fold, we really need these creases to be sharp and crisp. So I'm just doing all these creases. It's gonna look something like this when you're done. You done, Isla? You gotta do the other half. All right, so flip it back over. 
Here, let me just make sure this is all. And then, like that. There. So now it's going to look like it's bending a little bit. So we're going to close this top half. Close just a bit of it. I love the half. And then we're going to like squish this little pocket here. Like, like this. So this is a little bit tricky, but when we close this, this is going to want to fold like this. And it's going to end up like, we're going to squash the diamond. We're squashing this diamond like, like this. And it turns into another house. And but we're going to then we're gonna close this. It, it's really hard, so let me just get this full. Then, okay, yeah, like the banana. So now we're gonna tuck this here in like that. You're gonna see how it looks like a um, a half, like a triangle. We're gonna wanna split that triangle in half like this. And then we're gonna close this. And then it's gonna look like this. A little sideways, like, thing. I'll help you. This is not. Okay, what happened here? Okay, we're gonna close this and then squash it. We're gonna wanna split the triangle in half and then close the rest of this, right? It's really tricky, but I've practiced, so. And then, we're going to fold in the top half again, and then you see there's another pocket up here. We're gonna squash this one, too. And then, it's gonna create, make sure we have this, a little crease like this. Nope, there we go. Try doing like, you had it but we're gonna squash, now squash it like this. No, 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 not like that. Um, you see this crease, guys, everybody? We're gonna squash on the crease, squash on the crease. No, no, no. Uh, like, so, so this uh, line is aligned with this line, right? Get it? All right, this is where it gets a little tricky, okay? We're gonna open up this, open up this, and then close this bit, just a bit of it. And then you see this little triangle pocket, right? We're gonna just put this in. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see how mine's all clumsy there? It doesn't have to be perfect. Just tuck it in and then close it off. And then this should be on top, but it's actually under it, over there. So look, see on top, but under in there. That's, it's the trickiest fold of the boom line. So we basically got it all done. So now we're basically done with our origami boomerang. We just gotta close off the sides to make it triangle so it actually flies properly. And if we throw it right now, we're just gonna open this up once, so it's like this. And then we're gonna airplane these corners in. So like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna open up the right side, both of them actually. And then you're gonna see this triangle. Then you're gonna see this crease too. You're gonna wanna pinch on it and make it the other side. So it's, um, because it's actually wanting to go that way, we want it to go this way. And then we're gonna squash this part down, but you can see that this part wants to go in. You're just gonna do that. And then it's gonna make it like this. There, I'll help you here. No, not like that. Look, you see how this, Oh, where's your crease? Oh, here. And then you're gonna close it. And then this top part's gonna wanna go here. It's okay, cause this will be covered, but still we're gonna wanna do it for the shape. So look, there. And then we're gonna close it. Close yours, Isla. And then you're gonna see this thing and this pocket if you flip it over. So we're gonna tuck this into the pocket. We made that pocket, and that's why it's so important to do that other fold. So that's the pocket we made. We need to flip this and put it in. We're gonna round it off. 
and then I let you tuck your pocket in. So pocket, right? Tuck it in. All right. So then the next step is we're gonna do the same on the other side, but this time this is gonna be thinner than this one because it's a different one. It's not gonna. It's not supposed to look symmetrical. It's it's supposed to look different. So we're gonna airplane fold the thing in and then do the same as the last side. We're gonna reverse this crease and put it down here and then make it like that. And then we're gonna close it off again. And then a little pocket. Put it in. We're gonna flatten everything out. Okay, so that's the origami boomerang. Now to show you how to fill it. Okay. So we're gonna hold it like this, so the line is here. The line, not the square part, the line. And then we're gonna hold it like this, and just flick it like this, and throw it, and it'll come back. And when you throw it, you're gonna wanna pull your wrist back right when it releases. Oh, there, it, if you liked this video, if you did, like and subscribe. And, and comment down below. <laughs> And hit the bell if you have any, and comment down below if you have any ideas for us to, what to do next. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.